Uh, hello, this is a demonstration of the Fujikura 12S, which is uh, being loaned to us uh, to see what we think of it and to test it in the field. This is the handle that comes with it, and this can also be put on the splicer itself to hang it around your neck so that you can climb up a pole and do a fusion splice if you want to. It's a really handy case. And there we are. There's the Fujikura 12S. Here is our and in this storage compartment is the charging uh, unit for it. The top folds down, the handle goes down and it gives you a raised up working surface that this sits into if you choose to use it. If you want to charge it, it has to come out of here. This was the one thing that fooled me when it came. So you just remove this little thing at the back it's out of here. And this is where you charge it. I find it's really good to use as this tray because it keeps everything in one place for you. Because you've got your uh, alcohol here and your cleaver can sit there so it's all very compact. So it's really handy to get into awkward places or get into people's houses to fuse the CPE for them. So there's our cleaver. So now we'll just splice some fibre. So we're cleaning the primary coating off the fibre and there's a primary coating on the cutters and there's a piece of fibre. So we clean the fibre till it sings. You can hear it singing. We put it in one of these e-groove gadgets which are magnetic, so they go into the cleaver really easily and into the fuser really easily. Just leave a little tiny bit of pink sticking out, pink to make the boys wink. Cleave it, which cuts it at the right length for fusion. You put them in so that you can read the writing, that's the way around that they go. And you get two sets of these with the 12S, you get these for the ordinary fibre and you get some slightly bigger ones for when you're doing pigtails and things and I tend to keep those in the cleaver box then we'll do the second fibre second one that we're going to join onto it so we put the slice protector on and the slice protector's got some glue inside it and a metal bar and when we've finished our fuse uh, we'll heat shrink it round the fused fibre we'll strip the second piece of fibre and we'll clean it till it sings. So now it's gap setting, I don't know if you can see it, setting the gap, blowing up any muck. Now it's fusing it, I hope you can see that, I'll bring it a bit closer, it will estimate the loss and it's estimated that there's no loss which is a good splice, which is good considering I'm filming it. Very encouraging. So we take out the fibre that we've used. Lift up the heater. And you can see there, I'll bring it a bit closer. There's our fusion splice. So now we've got to protect it. I'll slide the protector over it and make sure it's centralised so the joins actually in the middle of this little tube and press heat and so that will heat up that little plastic tube the splice protector 
and seal it round the fibre join. It takes uh, about a minute or so, that's all. Tell us when it's ready, it'll do a little beep. There you go, so that's it done. Turn it off to save battery, let it cool down for a short while. Usually leave it a little bit longer than this. And then you take it out and you pop it in that tray to really cool down because you don't want any bad bends on it where it comes out with the spice protector. But we'll rush it a little bit today for the film. And so there's your finished joint. Fusion Spice with the Fujikura 12S, which has been tested in all the fields. It's done its job. Over the lid. Put the cleaver away. Fusion splicer back in here. And close the lid. Ready to go on to the next job. Renders out the Fujikura 12S. Now well, there's your fusion on the Fujikura 12S. Using in a field. Right, that's the last one heating up. And the others are all done. <laughs> and this is the 12S being demonstrated in a field doing a bullet from an access chamber surrounded by a sheep. And then it fuses it. There's your fusion splice. And now it'll tell us to scut. Ready to go on to the next job. Render's out. Fujikura 12S. 